the Father, and the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, we come to celebrate the sacred mysteries. And it, for the Tate Mass, will be our last Mass in this meeting room. And this weekend, we will start um, in the church. So next weekend's Mass that will be taped will be done in the, in the church that is re, in remodeled, but still not everything is done. So I'll explain it to you next week. But we approach the altar with humble hearts and ask God for forgiveness and pardon of our sins. You as NTL, the contrite of hearts, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. And you are seated at the right hand of the Father and see for us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May my God have mercy on us, forgive us all sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Oh, 
reading from the letter of St. James. My brothers and sisters, show no partiality as you adhere to the faith in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ. For if a man with gold rings and fine clothes comes into your assembly, and a poor person in shabby clothes also comes in, and you pay attention to the one wearing the fine clothes and say, sit here please, while you say to the poor one, stand there or sit at my feet. Have you not made distinctions among yourselves and become judges with evil designs? Listen, my beloved brothers and sisters, did not God choose those who are poor in the world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom that he promised to those who love him? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. today, they bring the person who could not hear and could not speak. And what does Jesus do? He keeps his dignity and brings him away from the crowd. And then he says, as he put his fingers in his ears and, and spit and touched his tongue, he said the beautiful words, Ephatha, be open. And his first words he, he heard was our Christ. The first person he spoke to was Jesus. Whenever I baptize a baby or even an adult, they're the words that we say, Ephatha, be open, that we hear the word of God and that you're able to proclaim his word. With all of this craziness in our world, with all of this, this, this horrific days that we've been experiencing between the pandemic and, and political and all that other stuff. We hear the Lord pulling us away from that, pulling us away from that noise and saying the beautiful words, Ephatha, be open, be open to the Spirit, be open to the Word of God, be opening to listening to Jesus. We can only do that when we have that silence and we have that moment to be a one with our God. And I know those who are watching, some of you have been, not been able to visit anyone and it's very frightening, or people 
haven't been able to visit you, and if they do visit you, it's in a very safe manner. But we know that there's the other noise in our life. That is the noise of the neg negativity that's in our hearts, that seems to be ringing into our ears so loud. We hear the Lord ridding us of that. The negativity of watching TV or, or listening to radio on the computer and, and looking at whatever we look at, we ask the Lord to rid us of that. To rid us of whatever negativity it is, and whatever prejudice it is in our hearts. You know, I'm getting tired of people saying, oh, the reason why they're that way is because of the pandemic. Well, you know, now we have to take ownership of ourselves. You know, I went into a bank, and I won't say the bank I went into, and it was almost like and I'm not very friendly when I walk in, but it was almost like they were doing me the favor, that I was inconveniencing them. And then when I left, I said, I'm sorry I inconvenienced you. Oh, no, you didn't, sir. You didn't inconvenience us. And then I walked out and I go, no, but the next words they probably would have said was, it was the pandemic. We got to take ownership. So we need to be able to find that time to be able to be alone to be able to pull ourselves in and to have Jesus open up our ears, our speech, our thoughts, our mind, our whole being, and fill our hearts with such love and conviction that each day is a gift from the God and we live it to the fullest. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not being, substantial with the Father. All things were made. Spend it for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the power of the Spirit, was incarnate in the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified unto Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and rose again, and rose on again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended to heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who sees from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through prophets. I believe in the one holy Catholic and apostolic church. And I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us bring our prayers before the Lord who desires to give us what we truly need. For Pope Francis and all bishops, may God bless them with unity and fortitude. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the whole world, may the peace given by Christ come to rest on all nations and peoples. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all those who need physical, emotional, or spiritual healing, may God extend his hand to them and make them well. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our community of faith, may the Lord shower us with the grace to listen to and do his will. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who will die this day, may God welcome them into his eternal peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Godfrey Lumak, Josephine Winkowski, Louis Rodriguez and Gertrude Moore, 
and to deceased members of the Garcia family for whom these masses are offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those intentions which are deep in our hearts. We pray for our 13 service men and women who were um, killed and received by their families this week. We pray for all of our men and women in the armed services because they are truly our heroes. We pray for the difficulties in Afghanistan, especially for our Americans who are still there and those of our allies who helped us who are still there. We pray for women and children throughout the world, and especially troubled areas like Afghanistan. And we pray for peace in the world and for our leadership who truly needs our prayers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And we pray for those affected by this virus and that the Lord can be able to send healing to all those who are in need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Turn to our God and we pray for our students, our children, as they are starting school last week and this week, that they're kept safe and that they're keeping the social distance, but being able to interact with their, their friends that are so needed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. With these intentions, we turn to our Blessed Mother. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. and my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord assist us the sacrifice of your hands to praise and glory of his name for our good and good goodness of this holy church. O God, who gives us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage of your divine mystery and by partaking of the sacred mysteries, we may faithfully unite in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, mighty eternal God, if you lay the foundation of the world, and have a ranging of changing of time and season. You form man in your own image, setting humanity over the whole world in all its wonder, to rule in your name over all you have made, and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and saints we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Thank you. 
holy, Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending the Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so he come for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time she turned intimately into his passion, he took bread, giving things broken, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was done, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we pour, back, pour it out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks you've held us presence in, to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ. We may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, you share the spread throughout the world and bring us the fullness of charity. Together, Francis, our Pope, James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of the face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, his beloved spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, who have preached you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you, your Son. Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command to form fine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Grace you grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we wait the blessing hope coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look down on sins by the faith of your church, Grace, he grants us peace to Christ with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your spirit. Let's offer each other a sign of Christ. Peace.
Holy Lamb of God, the altar who takes away the sins of the world, bless those called to suffer the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. graciously upon the beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives here into you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And before the final blessing, I just want to first thank you for um, all your patience and your donations and always supporting our church, our school, and our project that we're that to update our, our sanctuary and our church. So I'm excited for this weekend. It's a soft opening. Of course, materials are hard to come by, so it might take a while for the main aisle to be done. So the rug is still in the main aisle, but the sanctuary is going to be beautiful. And again, you know, a lot of the what's going to be in the sanctuary is still coming. It's a long story, but um, hopefully next week we'll be able to bring you some of that. Uh, one of the things I am working on at the parish is that we'll be live streaming. So you'll be able to watch our Mass um, Saturday at 4 o'clock, Sunday at 8, um, 10.15, and 10.30, and, or not 10.30, and 12.15. We'll probably still be doing the Mass outside, all according to what the numbers are for the 10.30. Um, the other is that um, I'm still don't know how I'm going to be able to get it to Edison TV, so we're still working on the logistics for that. Alrighty, God bless you. And um, the bulletin is online. It, 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 there was something with the bulletin company, but it will be online. And please look at the bulletin or have someone come and get your bulletin, but we'll be out of the meeting room and into our church. Alrighty, God bless you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Have a great day and a great week.